Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to try and expand the storage in an Xbox One S. This will be relevant for the Xbox One as well. Now if like me you went out and bought yourself a 500 gigabyte version then you might find now that you're starting to run out of storage space once you've downloaded 10 to 15 games, obviously depend on the games that you've downloaded. So the good thing about the Xbox One and Xbox One S is that they make it really easy for you to expand the storage. So I went out and I got myself a one terabyte USB external drive. Now one terabyte is the same as a thousand gigabytes. So this little unit here will have twice the storage that the original Xbox One S had. In hindsight, I wish I'd bought an Xbox One S with one terabyte on it and then I wouldn't have had to go out and get this. But you can get these depending on the uh, depending on the manufacturer for between 40 and 60 pound for a one terabyte one. You, if you go for the proper Xbox One S one that comes in the green plastic little cover then you're going to be looking at 80 to 90 pound. But do a bit of research on that online because you'll find that inside them it is just a Seagate 2 terabyte drive. So actually you're paying probably around £20 more just for the sake of having the green plastic cover on because the drive inside is exactly the same. So basically you don't have to use Seagate, you can use any brand you want but it has to be USB 3. So basically when you plug it into your Xbox you need to get one of these that is at least USB 3 and also it has to be 256 gigabytes or bigger. It can't be less than that, otherwise it won't work properly when you wanna store games and apps on it. Okay, so uh, I haven't set this one up before, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Good thing about these are they're really small, they take up very little room. And you can see it comes with the USB lead, so that is the USB 3 connector there to a standard USB connector and this is the side we will be plugging into the Xbox. So there we go, nice and small. Now if you've already got one of these lying around the house, remember when you plug it into your Xbox, unless you're just going to be looking at photos or for example a movie on your Xbox, if you're going to if you want it to put games and apps onto it, you're going to have to reformat it. So if you reformat it to your Xbox One, you're gonna lose everything. It's gonna erase the data that's already on here. Obviously with this one, it's brand new, so it doesn't matter. But if you're using one that's lying around the house, make sure you know what's on it already, because once you plug it into your Xbox One, it will erase all the data from it. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Now, with the Xbox One S and the Xbox One, they're all USB 3 ports, so you can plug it into any USB port you want. On this Xbox One S, I've got one at the front and two at the back. On your Xbox One, you're gonna have one at the side and two at the back. So I'm just gonna plug it into the USB port down the bottom there. And you can see now, it gets its power from the Xbox itself. You don't have to have a separate power adapter. And already now, you see it's recognized it, and it's coming up with this thing here. Use for media or for games and apps. If you choose to use this external storage for media, so that's music, videos and pictures, you will keep any content that is currently on the drive. If you choose to use it for games and apps, the drive needs to be formatted. formatted. Everything on the drive will be erased. You can manage this device later in settings, system, storage. So, so I want to use it for games and apps because on this Xbox One S down here, I've actually used up most of my storage, so I'm running out of room. So I'm going to go to format storage device and I'm going to press A give your device a name right I've got to give the device a name so I'm just going to call it external go to enter right install new things here or keep current location so if you make the external the place to install new games and apps we will use that from now on you can change this at any time in settings system and storage well because i've used up most of my internal storage i am going to leave it so it installs all the new things on the external drive install new things here press a when formatting is done, you will be able to use the games and apps on the external with any Xbox One you plug into it. It will be usable only with Xbox One consoles. So for example, I wouldn't be able to put this into my PS4 because it's now gonna be formatted to the Xbox One. So I'm gonna to go to format storage device and press A. 
and now that would just take a while. So the good thing about this now is that you can, there we go, it already says now external, external storage ready. So the good thing about this is if you put a game onto here, you can now take this this drive with you and plug it into another Xbox One. So for example, if you were going around to your friend's house and you wanted to play one of your games and it won't have to load up on their Xbox One because the game is already on the storage device. So it will save a lot of time because obviously if you bring the disc around to your friend's house, then you're going to have to load up that game. And if they've got a slow internet connection, it could be loading up for the next five or six hours. So by plugging in the external storage device, you will be able to play near enough straight away. If you have the, if it's a disc game, you will still have to bring your disc to your friend's house, but I will show you it working on another Xbox One in the house. But if it's a digital game, then it will work straight off the external drive itself. So what I'm gonna do now is, if we go to my games and apps, you will see here that now it says that I've only used 25.9% if I go over to settings, all settings, and if I go down to system and then go across to storage and press A, you will see here that it says manage storage. So if you have a look, my internal storage is nearly full. That's 92.1%. So that was the 500 gigabytes that comes with the Xbox One S. But remember, you can't use that all for games because you've got the Xbox system information on there already. But if you have a look now, we've got this new one that I've called external and it says 0% used and there's 931 gigabytes free. That was a one terabyte external drive, which is a thousand gigabytes. You won't be able to use it all. Right, so let's say now we wanna put a game on there and take it to a friend's house. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna to go to my games and apps, and let's say now I'm gonna use a digital game. So I'm gonna go down to Project Cars, which is a game I've recently downloaded from Xbox Live Gold, and I'm gonna press the menu button here, and it will come up with this menu. So I'm gonna go down to Manage Game and press A, and if you have a look, I've got, a, 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 I've got other options now, and these options weren't there before. I can go to move all, copy all, or uninstall all. Well, these two games, so that's limited edition upgrade and project cars, I'm gonna move them to the external, because at the moment, if you have a look here, it says up the top there, storage internal. So it's on my internal drive, and the size of it is 24.6 gigabytes. So let's go to move all. And now you're about to move two items from internal to external. So it doesn't give me any options because I've only got two, I've only got the internal storage and one external drive. I presume if you were to install another external drive, then you would have the option to go, for example, to external drive one or whatever you call them to external drive two, if you call it external drive one and two. So right now it's gonna be moving those 24 gigabytes from the internal drive to the external drive, and now I'll be able to use that on whichever Xbox I want to use it on. So I'm going to press A to move. And now it's moving, so let's see how long that's going to take. So you can see now, looks like it's moving pretty fast. Remember, 1000 megabytes per gigabyte. That's one gigabyte done. So we've got to do 24 of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward through this on the video. And then what we'll do is we will unplug that drive and then I will bring it to another Xbox One and just to see how quick it is to load from that Xbox One. I can feel it wearing away, but I can't hear any noise coming from the drive at all. So it's nice and quiet. Okay, so that appeared to be transferring at about three to four gigabytes per minute. So if you were looking at a game that was only three or four 
gigabytes, you're going to be looking at just one minute to transfer over. If you're looking for a, a bigger game, around 40 gigabytes, you're going to be looking at around 10 to 13 minutes. Right, okay, so let's go back to... Here now, and let's see where Project Cars is. Manage game. Right, and now it's saying that it's on external. So if I was to go... To now, so if I go up to the top now to all storage and just click on internal, you can see now that it's dropped down to 85%. And I've got 53 gigabytes free. So that's going to allow me to get a pretty big game on there now. So I'll be able to fit one more game on the internal storage. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to unplug the external drive and I'm going to bring it to another Xbox One just to see how easy it is to play project cars from that drive on the other Xbox One. Right, so I'm just going to unplug it. And that will bring it over to the other Xbox. Okay, so we're now on the original Xbox One and we're going to plug this in and see what happens. So at the moment, I'm not signed in as anybody on this one. So when I plug this in, it's going to ask me to probably insert the disc or to sign in. But then when I sign in, because I've got the rights to play this game, it should work. So when you bring this to your friend's house, you are going to have to sign in using your gamer tag on his or her Xbox One or Xbox One S. It doesn't matter, it will work on both of them. Now remember, only the, only the person who has the rights to the game can sign in. So for example, if it's on your home console, and let's say if, it, if it's your brother's or if your dad's console and you're using your gamer tag on it, if you transfer it onto this external drive and bring it to your friend's house and put in your gamer tag, it's not gonna work. You have to do the gamer tag off the person who actually owns the rights to this. So I downloaded it on one particular gamer tag, so that's the gamer tag that I'm gonna have to use when I plug this external hard drive into the Xbox One. So if it doesn't work, make sure you are using the correct gamer tag because you might have your Xboxes like I have here set up as your home console. And remember, Anybody, any gamer tag can use the games on the home console, but you are now bringing this to a different Xbox One in a different house, so it's no longer the home console. So that's why you have to sign in using the gamer tag of the person that got the game in the first place. Right, okay, let's bring it over and plug it in. Right, so this is the Xbox One here, the original one. I'm just gonna reach around. Remember, there's three USB ports, two at the back and then one at the side. Okay, so I've plugged that in now. So let's go over to here. And it's saying here, external storage ready. So now when I go to games, if I go to all storage at the top, I should be able to see the game. Right, so let's go to all storage and go to external and now it will say project cars. Now, because I haven't signed in as anybody, it's saying do I own this game or app? If you have the game disc, insert it now. So remember, if you're doing this on a, a copy of a game that you need a physical disc, you're still gonna have to bring the disc to your friend's house to be able to do this. This project cars is actually a digital copy, but because I haven't signed in, it's acting the same as if it was a disc. So I'm gonna to have to sign in to the account of the gamer tag that owns this game to be able to play it. So let's press close there. And I'm just gonna sign in. Okay, now let's try it again. Project Cars. Your game will start soon, just getting your game ready. Okay, so that didn't appear to take too long, so it seems to load up very quick. Because obviously you can do this by just entering your gamer tag to the other Xbox, but the problem is you're then downloading the game onto their internal storage space, which is gonna take up, in this case, 24 gigabytes, and they might not have that, or they might not want that, because you might only be popping around to play this game, you know, just for uh, half a day or something. So. 
having the external storage is good, not just to increase the storage on your Xbox, but it is good because it's portable and you can move it between Xboxes. so that's it as you can see it's really easy to set up it's really easy to move from one Xbox to another and it's a good way to increase your storage so you might be regretting the fact you got a 500 gigabyte Xbox but there's no real need because for 40 to 60 pounds you can easily get one just remember it has to be USB 3 so don't be tempted by the real cheap ones because they might be USB 2 it has to be USB 3 and it has to be 256 gigabytes and above and that's it they've made it really easy to set up and the added benefit is that you can then take the hard drive with you to another Xbox and play it there which is a good feature hopefully you like the video please give it a thumbs up if this helps you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now